So this is the Rebellion 2 we're going to have a look in. It's proper outdoors rugged, isn't it? It's all geared up for like getting out there. Surfboards, skiing even. So, so surfboards will go down there. Yeah. This is all water, isn't it? This is um, the water actually drains away oh, here. So even if you've got dogs and stuff, you can stick them in here, use the shower, and it's all going to drain away here. Yeah. Down there, stick all your wetsuits and things here. Loads of storage along the back. Got all the different charging points here as well. So what's really unusual about these vans is the double doors on the back. This vehicle, as it is, is 143.989. So we're talking quite a lot of money. Excited to see what we get for our money. So you can tell this is proper rugged. Oh, nice TV. This is obviously your sleeping area here, isn't it? Really comfortable. So I've got some storage here. Just here. And then you've got all your different pumps and things for your bathroom, the pump, side door roof light, you've got your energy setting here. And again, it shows you here about your energy setting. Cooker here, that's a really good size. It's height, isn't it? That's really nice to have it there instead of having to bend down. But everything around in here. <laughs> Are we okay? Yeah, you're yeah. okay for a few minutes, yeah. So this comes up at the end here. Oh, and then look in the drawer in front of you. That's really heavy, isn't it? Yeah, it's Korean. Oh my gosh. So look wow. in the drawer in front of you. This one here? Yeah. And the oh my gosh. <laughs> I wish I could hear I thought we were sitting down. I thought I was in the back seat. <laughs> Brilliant, love it. A little device. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have a little device. Right, let me show that you. That Andy's fell over before. <laughs> Comedy sketch, that bit. Yeah. Oh, here yeah. we go. We've got, we've got oh, magic God. happening here. And then you've got <gasps> your training board. How good is that? Such a simple idea, but She's so effective. <laughs> Superb! And you fell over for that one. She that is brilliant. That. That's so it good. It wouldn't be one of our videos if I wasn't <laughs> falling over and uh, injuring myself. Love that. Thank you. All right. And then wow. to put the table back down, so that goes back in there. And yep. Just, uh, two little push buttons, and then that comes back down. Superb! Okay. Great space saver. <laughs> Love it. Let's get that back in there. It's really heavy with the Corin. It's got loads of storage here. So you've got a full length mirror. That's really good. You don't get full length mirrors in most homes, do you? Not that you really want to see yourself in the morning. Fridge, freezer, radio up here. We've got some more storage, loads of storage. Oh, this is obviously where the table is. Yep, the table's just put in the back there. And there's another little, oh, that's the base of the table, isn't it? Safe. The safe in that. Wow. Hanging view coats, really good, because a lot of people miss those sort of things. And that's obviously your trauma heating. And then we've got. The bathroom it looks really good. Do you want to go in there? <laughs> <laughs> We've watched this so many times. Very quite compact with your shower there. It's obviously when you're in here. It is quite compact. I mean that sink there, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not particularly huge. And then front looks. So this is the, the new Swift 694. It's literally come straight from the manufacturers to the show. Even the, the salespeople here have not actually seen it before. So it's literally brand new. So we'll take a quick look at the details first. 
So this standard model is 70,590 and it's actually got included 6, 000, over 6,000 pounds worth of accessories. It's a full berth, four travel seats, and overall length is 7.84. So it's quite a big one, isn't it? It's quite a long one. Should we take a look inside first? It looks bright and airy, doesn't it? Start at the back. We're gonna go through to the bedroom then. Is that what we want to do? Yeah. Oh. So to get to the bedroom, we've got a huge bathroom. Really good. Got your toilet, sink, Good size sink, not too small like some of them are. Again, we've got quite a bit of storage. You can shut off the bathroom from the front of the, the cab area and you've got your shower on the opposite side. Let's have a quick nosy. Good size shower head. I'm glad there's no water in there, otherwise it's got really wet. <laughs> Thank God I've not been in there and tested it. <laughs> Good size double bed. With lots of storage. We've actually got speakers here and there's a USB underneath as well. Let's have a look at the storage, see if we've got some hanging space. Yeah, we've got the hanging spaces. They've got their 12 volt TV, six amp and a plug here. And then on the other side, let's just see if we've got hanging. I'm sure it would be the same. We've got another plug here. And you've actually got another cover this side. Yeah, you've got more hanging, and then I presume this cupboard here has got your shelving. Yeah, plenty of shelving. Ta da! Not sure I actually like the little pluggy bits because you have to hold those down to actually open the doors. You can't just. No, he locks them. I guess it, they're designed for kind of space saving. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that might be somebody's in the back bit. You can obviously get the garage is down there. I can see someone's head poking through. <laughs> oh, we've got a double-sided opening fridge. That's a that's a much bigger fridge, isn't it? Again, that opens double size, left and right. So, storage up there. That looks like TV aerial. Is that TV aerial? Not Wi-Fi thing, yeah. Be Wi Fi as well, and then we've got a little bit more down here. That's a nice deep cupboard. Cutlery drawer, plenty of cupboard space, full size oven, even got a microwave. We haven't seen many of these so far, have we? Oh, got your racks for your plates and everything, so that's really well thought out, isn't it? To keep everything secure. And then we've got fresh and waste just in there, so you've got the buttons to see. To drop, drop your to waste? to drop it? Yeah. Ah, okay. Another big cupboard. And then this table obviously covers that. It's good that it's a half, isn't it? Because then it's not in the way when you don't want to use it. Right, it's all multi-directional. Lots of plug sockets, that's really, really good. Another plug socket here. And then what's this? Oh, we've got a table control here. So you can move that up and down. I'm not going to fiddle. Shall I? No, I'm not going to fiddle. Who would suit this motorhome? Definitely family. Because you've got a nice big bathroom, haven't you? You've got lots of space, you've got a good size oven, and you've got a microwave here. You can shoot yourself off from the kids. Yeah, you can definitely bit, shoot yourself off. Bit of privacy. Oh, we've got another little what's name here as well. Prepping area. It's always handy, isn't it? This is the new model, isn't it? It's the new model, yeah. Five seat belts and four berths. This is a four berth. Let's 
see. Length is 4972. Three, four kilograms. So just under five metres. Yeah. So it's a four berth camper van with lower and roof bed, maximum roof bed weight is 150, so that's for children, isn't it, I would say. And we've got an underslung, gas tank and barbecue point, insulated, 40 litre, 40 litre fresh, and 40 litre wastewater tank, that's a good size, isn't it? For saying how small it is, yeah. that's brilliant, that's going to have a nosy end. Straight away, you've got step, USB, and also a socket. Some more USBs here. They have really thought about the USBs and charging points. You've got all your little bits and pieces here for your water, auxiliary, battery. Presuming that's your heating. This is great. I can't believe this is a four berth. Four berth. Well, obviously, where you're sitting there, that makes into a bed, and then you've got the bed above really? you here. That uh, pulls down. We're not going to pull that down, though. This is lovely. It really feels really plush. Like a suede, a little headrest here. I like it. So we've got oven. Oh, okay, that one pulls out. Yeah, that's obviously to protect the drawer above from the yes. heat. very good. So we've got your oven here, light and everything, ignition. Oh, all important. You've got your toilet. Gotta to have the toilet. Fridge. <laughs> Fridge. Easily get your milk and everything in here. So this is sink. You can see that underneath. I think this is a two burner gas. They've even got, I don't know whether you can see. <gasps> that is brilliant. Superb! There's obviously a lot of thought gone into this. There is, absolutely. We're going to have a look outside around yeah. the back of the USBs. Lots of little stuff. Oh, here we go. Here's the water. Twist water. It's a shower. Oh my god, there's a shower in here. Is that a shower? Yeah. Yes. That's amazing. So we've got a shower. Um, oh, it's a tap. I don't know where it's, that probably screws in the middle, isn't it? Inside there. Let's have a look at this storage. storage goes all the way through so you can actually get to this area from inside the van you don't have to come out back and it also looks like the whole of this slides backwards doesn't it can you see this is on a thing so it probably pushes back if you make it bed up and it says up here there's a 60 watt panel solar panel and lithium battery at the back here so that must be underneath so yeah you've got your solar panel as well So there's something special about this van. We're well, not this particular van, but the Malamu range, because we're actually going to be taking one out very soon for a weekend. So we're going to show you a little bit, give you a few snippets of what it's going to be like. This particular van. The Malibu Charming. 71,450, all in. Inside, no Malibu. Front skylight here, which is nice and big, isn't it? I like the size of the cover. They've literally utilised every bit of space, haven't they? So, four seat belts. Oh, oh. Move the tabletop. I don't know how to move it, but the table obviously moves out as well, doesn't it? So, I suppose when you're cooking, you can use the extra part of the thing here. The storage. Huge. Oh. Little bin. That's good, isn't it? It looks like you've got uh, the fridge. Just next to the door here. Two burner on the gas oven. A little sink here. It's 
size, nice and deep. There is so much storage, isn't there? Literally. Right. Knives and forks and things. That's oh, a here. Right. More storage. Oh, nice cupboard. <laughs> more storage in here. That is loads of storage. They've literally utilised every inch of space. Good sized beds as well. I'm dying to line them but I'm not going to because there's loads of people around. <laughs> so there is an option with this particular van where you can have a pop-up roof ah. and that's going to give you an extra two beds. Extra berth. Yeah that, so that, yeah. that's going to make it into four berths. Let's take a look in the bathroom. Very bright and airy in here. I'm not sure where the loo is. Oh, obviously the loo is here and it just swivels out. Great size shower for a van this size. Oh, that's brilliant. That's quite big. It's actually really quite big in here. Shall I just show you just very quickly? So here we are in the shower and it's even got the little vent up there. Perfect. Put your little storage things in here, shampoos and stuff. Excellent. As usual with these type of vans you get a huge load of space underneath the back bed. I'm not sure you get your bike in there. No. I don't know, maybe if you fold it back. And you've got your Gas locker there, room for two gas bottles. This lifts up, doesn't it? So, what do you think? So here we are at the Great British Seaside, and here you can see that the few bloggers, and here is Anne Shirley on Twitter. Oh, she's our biggest fan. <laughs> 